Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So tonight I'm talking about the LS engine again and we're going to talk about the timing cover smacking into the oil pump and what actually needs to be clearance because that's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out until now when I'm actually going to do one. So when does this take place? Well, this takes place when you install a double roller chain with the oil pump. And I guess you could leave the oil pump out, but your engine wouldn't run that long. Why does it move the oil pump out? Well, if you don't put the spacers in, then your timing chain will impact the back of the pump. So you need to install these spacers. And these spacers are about two millimeters wide ish let's let's take a quick gander here what do we what do we got numbers wise um just eyeballing it real quick um two maybe three millimeters we'll call it three so three millimeters so what do they hit right what what actually hits with the timing cover so I was looking at this and I, I was hitting and I'll show you what I was seeing. So when I go to put this on, boom, right? It doesn't go all the way on and I've got a gap. Now the gasket will take up some of this, but it still hits. And I know for a fact that when you don't have a double roller chain and you're going to put this on, it'll sit flush up against the block. So something is definitely hitting. And I put some Sharpie on here because I can't find my, my blue for the metal, um, my die. And I was looking, but I didn't see any marks in the Sharpie either. It's fairly easy to mark up Sharpie. I've done it before. So I was looking, and it wasn't until I was putting it on here, and I was doing my stuff, and I was looking, and boom, sure enough, the, um, the bolts... Let me see down there. Uh, light's kind of bad. The bolts hit the timing cover. That's actually what hits. And then I pulled the timing cover off and I looked. And sure enough, GM cut reliefs in the timing cover. Which tells me it's a really tight clearance anyway. And then if I look in here, I can actually see there's a little bit of scuffy marks on both sides where those bolts are hitting. So we can surmise that that's what needs to be done now this is really thin already right because they've already released cut in these things so it's even thinner than the rest of it so i've heard of people grinding on the timing cover to make it fit but i i just don't want to do that i've heard horror stories about the timing covers popping through so what is the solution to this well i don't know just yet but i have an idea what i've done is I've ordered bolts to replace these bolts. And I guess I could take and try to grind these down, maybe shave two millimeters off. That would probably give me the clearance with the gasket to make it all fit. It would probably be fine. But I ordered bolts. And for the life of me, I can't remember what they're called. But I can show you because the camera retaining plate that I've installed uses that type. And they're a countersunk bolt with a Torx head. Yes, Torx head. Oh my goodness, I couldn't remember that for life. I actually filmed this video twice because of that. So there's a Torx head bolt that is the 8 millimeter by 125 thread pitch that is 30 millimeters long or 25 millimeters will actually work, which is what I ordered. That'll work for this. And those of you that sit there and take filler gauges to shim your oil pumps and stuff, you're wrong. There is actually a video on YouTube from GM that is the service manual for tearing down and rebuilding an LS1. And guess what? They don't shim the oil pumps. They just literally slap it on there. Because the, the drive inside the oil pump floats. So, as long as it's in the center here, this is close enough. It doesn't matter if it's off by a couple foul either way. And that's why sticking the shit in the middle and doing this, because it floats, 
you're moving the housing, right? When you do this. So it doesn't matter if you put this in the center because the piece inside the oil pump moves inside the oil pump. So sticking feeler gauges in there to center that first and then bolting this down doesn't do you any good. So those of you that are going to leave me bad comments saying you didn't do this, didn't do that, aren't going to do this, aren't going to do that, doesn't fucking matter. Get it through your fucking thick goddamn skulls. It does not fucking matter. And just to reiterate again, Melling Oil Pump, the company Melling, that makes this oil pump, the M295HV, their installation video doesn't show them using the fucking feeler gauges around the goddamn thing. Anyway, I'm done with that topic. So, uh, maybe I'll post another video to this showing that I've fixed this clearance issue with the Torx bolts, the countersunk Torx bolts, or, or maybe I won't. I mean, you, you get the general idea of what I'm trying to get at, right? So we know what's hitting now. I haven't seen a video that actually shows what hits on the timing cover. And it looks like it's actually the bolts where the reliefs are. So perhaps that'll fix the problem. So if you tried it and you know actually what you need to clearance, leave a comment. If you've got something negative to say, you can leave a comment. I don't care. But no matter what, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.